All right. Continuing on with chapter six, Bayonetta for nextgenwalkthroughs.com. I think that's our site. It's at, kind of a hard At the name. moment, that's yeah. our site. Yeah. So there's one of uh, these guys are like the easiest enemies. They don't do anything. There's like statue heads with wings. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just shoot at them and stuff. All right. <laughs> if you get killed by one of those, you suck. You probably haven't made it this far into the game. Exactly. Anyway. Jeez. So these spikes aren't uh, aren't too hard to navigate. If you can get that bird thing to go out over the spikes, he'll get lit up by them. I always like that when games <laughs> have friendly fire. Yeah, you yeah. Kind of like use enemies against each other. Oh, I see. There's like a pattern to how the yeah. spikes go up and down. And you can't like do which time to slow things down. Or... No. So once you get across, break these rocks, and there'll be a lever. And then that turns off the spikes, so you can do a cougar run across these things. But first you gotta kill a wave of guys. Can you turn the lever back on and let the spikes do like dirty work? Didn't even cross my mind. Alright. Probably not. Probably. But what do I know? It's just an uneducated guess. So these are standard dudes. Nothing, uh, no strategy to taking them out. Yeah, you fought them all before. So. Um. Just use witch time to kill them. And if you're playing on. Ultra Climax, just kill them without witch time. Oh. No problem. Okay. There. Got it. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Be sure to pick up any weapons they leave behind. And then you just run to the end of the hall to do those things. But I think there's an Alfheim. Yeah. <clears throat> so, backtrack all the way back to where you first came in and there'll be an Alfheim. Oh, that seems to be the standard place to find those things. Backtracking, back yeah. Yeah, yeah my first playthrough mm -hmm. I only found one because it wasn't backtracking. It yeah. was just like there. And there's no reason to backtrack other than those really. Right. I mean, yeah, you'd have no idea. You probably searched every corner on your first time through and you just... Yeah, I just didn't backtrack after... Mm -hmm. I didn't realize killing a wave of enemies would make something show up. Right. Okay, so then come back here, do your cougar move through the door. And you'll be greeted by a friendly cat. Or whatever. A friendly... Oh, one of the cats. Yeah. So, here's my technique for fighting cats. Yellow lollipop? Yep. He's a gold cat too, those are harder than the red and blue cats. Oh. Yeah. And, but there's only one of them, unlike before you fought like three at a time. Right. The red and blue cats you can get witch time on, but the gold ones I don't think you can. And the red and blue ones have different attacks from each other. It's kind of weird. And the gold one too, I presume? Uh, has different attacks? Yeah. I mean, he has the combination of the red and blue. Oh. I think. Like, he doesn't do anything I haven't seen before. Oh my god, it's my kid. Dude, she keeps running away. I know. She's looking in the wrong direction for mommy. She is. <laughs> or is she? Or is she? Or is she? Your kid. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, so uh, once you kill these two guys, you walk towards the next guys and it'll trigger a little cutscene. And that's, uh, that's it for this video.